Good morning, everyone, from my garage. It is officially a Thursday morning. Hello and good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to mostly have a restful Thursday at home, but I am going to go into Target just to do a little bit of looking around and shopping and just get out of the house for a little bit. So I'm going to go over to Target this morning. Um, debating on if I want to drive the truck or if I want to drive the, my car. So, anyway, but I think I'm going to drive, like, the truck because it's, like, it's just so much bigger and more comfortable. So, anyway, I'm going to go over to Target, though, do a little bit of shopping, um, look around a little bit, get a few things that I need. Um, not a lot of stuff. I just need to get a scrub daddy, a new scrub mommy or daddy, whichever. <laughs> and I need to get, um, a few other little things from the store. And, um, then I'm gonna, probably then after that, then I'm gonna come home and then I'm gonna stop at the one grocery store. Um, and I'm gonna grab... But I might wait and I'm gonna grab my juice that I need, but I might just wait. Yeah, I think I'll wait till like next week, so like Monday. Um, I'll just enjoy the weekend here and then Monday, then I'll go in and I'll get my special juice that I need from that store because I don't have it at anywhere else. So that's what I'll do. I'll just wait till next week um, because then I just wanna come home and I wanna bring you guys with me just to have the most restful day at home and same thing going tomorrow but of course i'm only going to vlog today um and we're going to have the most restful day at home today and tomorrow but i want to take you guys through today i got a few things that i want to get done today um a little bit of drawer organization um now my desk drawer has been organized for months and everything's fine but my two nightstand drawers are like atrocious so I want to go through those today and I want to organize those after I get back from Target. And then after that, pretty much that's all I want to do. Um, that's literally it. So then I'm going to take some time today and just focus on reading, um, read my new book and read my Bible this morning, today. Um, and once I get that done, then I'm going to jump over and just have a pretty basic day um, and just rest. And I also got to complete some classwork, but that can wait till later. But I'm going to go up here and fix my hair. Um, I don't know what exactly I'm going to do with it because it looks like a hot, atrocious mess right now. But I'm going to attempt to go fix my hair and then I'm going to go get ready and I'm going to make a little coffee and go into Target. So anyway... Let's go make a coffee.
whenever I get back home, I do have two assignments to complete. So I'm gonna get that done. Um, so, anyway. But I'm gonna get ready and put on my shoes and go. I don't know if I wanna wear another cup, like a, a coat over this or not. I think I'm going to, because it is kinda of cold out still. It's only like 40 some, but it's supposed to get to 77 today. That's crazy. We're gonna see if it hits 77, but I believe it will. Goodness, now I gotta run, run around for 15 minutes trying to look for my keys for the truck. Because I have no clue where I put them because I was out there working on it yesterday. I didn't pay attention to where I was laying them. Okay, they're in the garage. Uh, forgot my coffee. I'll just back up for my coffee. Because I don't have my coffee. I need my coffee. I'll let you lay out here, you guys, and enjoy them. Let's see. Did I fix check engine light? Oh my gosh. Of course it comes back on again. I'm fed up with this check engine light. I can't get it off. <sighs> okay. I'll be back out. I think I know what it is now. I think I figured out what the check engine light's for. Okay. Now in every auction sensor, right, there is a heated circuit. Basically whenever you start up your car or truck in the morning, um, it can uh, pump heat. It can pump heat. You guys have to be all the way out there. It can pump heat into your auction sensor and provide heat to it until the truck actually heats up, okay? Whenever I did my reading with my fixed sensor, or fixed, it read that the heater control circuit is out. But that's a brand new O2 sensor, I just put it in. So I don't, I'm thinking what happened was that it's just not working. Like it was a it was a malfunction in that O2 sensor, but I don't know if I wanna buy another one. It's so cheap, I'm thinking maybe it doesn't even have an O2 sensor. Or I mean a heater control circuit valve. So I'm not worrying about it for a while, but then closer to inspection, then I'll take it in and I'm going to just go to AutoZone and, and buy the one at AutoZone. 
and then it'll work, I'm sure. So, we are smoking up my driveway. I'll show you guys. Look at all that smoke. <laughs> There's more of it. Well, I am gonna get backed up here, turned around. Here on the road and get over here to Target. And oh. okay, we got it now. Look, it's so icy on the road. Either they did something or all that water right there on the road froze. I think it's frozen water. It looks slick. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go over here to Target and I will update you guys later on then. And um, I'm gonna get over here and I'll let you guys know what I'm getting. We'll do a little haul once I'm done shopping. Okay, we're at Target. I'm gonna take my wallet and I'm gonna take my coffee I made and let's go ahead and end and I'm gonna do some shopping. I'll catch up with you guys when I get back out here in the car. It's gonna be a nice day today. I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna hit 77 today. Anyway, like I was showing you guys in at Target, um, I got Cascade, I got me and my sister's one favorite soap. Um, we've only found it at Target so far. It's called Quiet and Roar Calming White Sage and Sea Salt Body Wash. And it smells so good. It's so good before you go to bed. And then I picked up a Scrub Mommy and I picked up some Tom's Smoothies. And I got the big one because me and my sister always need them and whoever else might need some. And on top of that, there was a limit on how many you could buy. So I was like, I'm buying extra because they're probably having a shortage on antacids and I need to have antacids. It's not just because I don't want a little bit of pain. I literally need antacids. Like without them, I don't know what I do. Like, I mean, it is terrible. Like I will be in bed bent over wimping if I don't have antacids. Okay, so I'm gonna drive home now. Enjoy my nice drive home. It's 8.20. I'm gonna get home and unpack everything. And then I'm gonna get working on some schoolwork. And then I'm gonna spend the rest of the day kind of resting. I'm going to spend the rest of the day, a lot of my morning reading. I wanna read for quite some time. So I think I'm gonna set a timer on my phone for a good 15 minutes or 20, 25 minutes, and just spend all that time reading. Um, I need to start indulging more into books, so. Okay, let's one head home. Okay, I'm back home, I unboxed everything. Um, well, not really unboxed, but everything out and done. So now I'm going to open up my curtains, let some air in, my stereo's on. I'm gonna play a little bit of some Christian music and do a little bit of schoolwork and some Beautiful sunlight in the room. Beautiful sun rays over there on the wall. Um, and I'm going to go sit down with my coffee over here and I'm gonna get some work done. This morning for a little bit, I had a few things that I need to do and I wanna update my notion early. Um, I guess I could just from like a Sunday reset like early. So either I'll do that because it is Thursday. So either I'll do that or I will just film like a middle of the week update and then I'll just do a Sunday reset later. But I think it is going to be my Sunday reset now. But I don't think I'm going to call it a Sunday reset no more. I just think I'm just going to call it like a notion reset, preparing for the week, all that stuff. So we'll see. And then my biggest thing today after that is to organize these nice tan drawers. Let me show you. That one is piled to the brim full of stuff. 
everything and anything is in there. And this one I organized, but now everything's everywhere else. So I wanna take most of this stuff and put it in the bottom drawer. I just wanna have two books in here, my Bible and my other book. And that is it, nothing else. My Bible and the, the other book, The Perfect Father. And then while I'm doing that, I'm gonna take care of this headboard type of situation, clean that out and put a lot of the stuff that is in my nightstand drawers, a lot of the books I can stack up in here. So I'm gonna do that as well. I have a new oil diffuser coming today because this one just does not run right anymore. Oh! No, it's definitely not gonna work right. Um, no, the lid has nothing to do with, with it. The whole problem is the sound that it makes. Let me fill it up and I'll show you. Let me open this little water here. I probably don't need no more oil because there was a lot left over. And just look at this. I put the lid back on. And that's right, it's all lined up and everything. Turn on and I'll listen to this. Ooh. It makes like a massive like grinding sound. Like it's like jammed or something. But if you smack it, it makes still a pretty loud noise and then it works. I don't know. I'm gonna let it run today, but I have my new one coming. I wanna show you guys my new one and show you on my spare phone. I'm also gonna clean the top of my stand up as well. Our store just closed. I know. I just got home. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. It's 8.47 right now. Here. This is the one that I ordered. It is a firework one. They have this really, really cool one called um, Ink. Yeah, Ink Wave. It just looks so aesthetic. So I might get this one later for like just to like swap out back and forth. Um, but that's the one I got. They're running for 20 bucks. So anyway, we'll see. I'm gonna, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with that whole situation. But yeah, so I wanna get all my work done, all that first. Notification. One new notification from Amazon shopping. A shipment will arrive today including essential oil diffuser. Okay, good. I was just talking about that. Um, so yeah, but yeah, I wanna sit down and do this work and get this all done. I think I'm gonna light a different kind of candle, but I don't really know which one to light. I have so many. I think I'm gonna, did I throw it away? What happened to it? Why would I throw away a good candle? I don't think I threw it away. It was my, my cotton candle. It smelled like spring and since today is hot, I have black sands I can light. It's like a coconut. I can't believe I would have thrown that away. Huh. That's crazy. I did not throw away a perfectly good candle. Something's going on, where is it? There it is. Okay, beachside linen. And I'm gonna replace my Masala Rose for today. I got black sands too. This one smells like, like a coconut tobacco, like a vanilla coconut. It says here, sandalwood, coconut water, and vanilla orchard. But I'm gonna light up this one, Beachside Linen. It just smells like an ocean, but also like a cotton. There. Light that up. That'll be like a good compliment to that over there, that, um, whatever it is. The, uh, I have sweet pea in there right now, which smells really good, by the way. So, yeah, I'm gonna sit down now. Um, that I can go on to, actually, I'll just take this. That way I can do the, my want my few class connect sessions that I have to get done. I can do quickly over here. Turn on my desk lamp, put that over there, and that way, 
I can spend most of my time I can spend most of my time um, working on my work. We'll see what I gotta get done today. Um, I have a Class Connect session coming up, but I just have to sit in there. So during all this time, I can work on this one assignment. Um, let, let's see what I have to do. I am so sick of this. I do not want Memo Premium. If it keeps on coming up, I'm just gonna take that stupid sticky note off of there. Okay, that was my edited video yesterday. Those are my chilling ice cold stories. I gotta organize my my Mac on here or my screen too, but let's take a look. I hate this new school website. It's a pain in the butt. <sighs> okay, here we go. Oh, you can change these again? Sorry, my grandmother needed my help with putting in her earrings. Okay. Um, so let me see. We have um, a 3.06 scatter plot wrap up quiz, and I have a module three grade assignment banking. Now, what is this? This just a download, or is this an actual assignment? Ugh. Oh, an actual assignment! How fantastic! What? Hmm, 16 points. Okay, this just shouldn't be too hard. It's just answering a few questions. So you're supposed to, I guess, pick two different banks or credit unions. And then you're supposed to type in the first two facts about your savings account and the first two facts about your checking account. And then you're supposed to analyze the information, decide if you would do your banking with this company. Not Citizens Bank. I've been there. Not PNC. I hate PNC. Um, I did not try the police and fire. I did not try First National. I did not try Seku. But I'm not going to PNC or Citizens. I already have my bank anyway. I like Orstown or m &T. Those are the two best banks that are like, um, uh, not, not like um, federal banks. They're like um, local banks. And they're my favorite. m and and Orstown. I'm currently an Orstown bank customer. But, Okay. Simon, I got to get to work, honey. So I got this in the making. I'm going to complete this. Before I complete that, I'm going to complete my other module or whatever the heck that was, that 3.06 quiz um, scatter plot wrap up. I have two attempts. So I'm going to get started on all this work. I'll let the time lapse run. I'm going to play some music and I will catch up with you guys once we are finished with all this work and I finish what I have to do on the computer. Then we'll catch up, and then we're going to jump in over there to work on the nightstand drawers and the headboard, and then we're going to jump from that, and we're going to go over into um, kind of a restful afternoon, a restful late morning. And I'm going to spend a good, like, 20, 30 minutes reading, and I'm, before I read, I'm going to take some time to meditate. So, okay, I will be back with you guys very shortly. Let's get working. <music> Okay, so I got done with all of my work. I got done with my two things for schoolwork. Um, I got done, I put those in. I paid a few bills, gave our tithe and offering to church a day early before tomorrow that way, since I was already in there doing finance stuff. Um, I took care of cleaning up my Mac, so now it's all organized and all ready to go. I'm gonna go out here and make some breakfast because my mother is kind of hungry and I'm a little bit hungry. Um, and it's really, really sticky and wet in here from this humidifier. So I am gonna turn that off for a while. It is at 80, per that thing, 85% humidity, but that says 80. So I'm gonna turn that off for quite some time. I think I'm actually gonna open up my window. 
um, to let in some nice air. But later on today, I'm probably gonna have to turn on the air conditioner because it's supposed to be like six, like a 77 today. But I gotta get my screen down. Oh God. There was little bugs in there. Let me just spray a little bit of uh, cleaner in there just to kill those bugs. Since my bed's right here, I don't need them coming in here. That way they die. And paper towels. I'll just wipe them up real quick and get them out of the windowsill. The only thing is all the traffic noise. Bugs are all taken care of. I gotta clean out that windowsill anyway. It's so nasty. So I might do that later. I wanna also get a new window lock. I might go on Amazon and order one of those. But anyway, I'm gonna go in here and make some breakfast. So I gotta make my mother some breakfast. She don't wanna respond to me. I texted her like, I don't know how many times and asked her what she wanted me to make her. <laughs> Cause she's like, I'm really hungry. I was like, okay. And she's not responding. So that it doesn't matter. Or scrambled eggs with cheese, please. So she put please. So I think I'll go make her the scrambled eggs with cheese. I think that's a better option. So I'm gonna go make her that. Me and my sister, I'm just gonna make us some basic, um, as we like to call it, dippy eggs. But as you all call it, half of you is over easy. Um, so I'm gonna go make, or over medium, over hard, however. I'm gonna go make um, me and my sister eggs. I'll just make us some simple dippy. <laughs> Sorry, I ain't going no over easy type of stuff. Um, I'm gonna do dippy eggs, and uh, but you can call them whatever. They're really they really are called over easy. But anyway, and my mother, I'll make her some scrambled eggs with cheese in a bowl, um, the best ones I can possibly make. Anyway, so I'm gonna go out here and make that, and I'll bring you guys along. Then we'll come back here. I'm going to eat and check up on schoolwork again one last time, make sure I don't have to do anything else today. And then after that's done, then I'm going to do my drawers and do some other stands in here and just pick up and put away and organize drawers. And that's going to put us at probably 1130. And then I'm going to do meditation and read and we'll be into the, excuse me, in the afternoon. So anyway, let's go make some breakfast. Okay, I just got some new news. My grandfather might be coming home today, tonight, and then sleeping here and then leaving in the morning because he is officially going on to his load that's picking up and then going to Washington, his previous account, because they bought his account back. So, anyway, I got my little candle going. I'm going to eat my little breakfast here. And then I'm going to get into that cleaning. It's honestly pretty warm in here already. It's 66, but it feels a lot warmer than that. I don't know why it feels so hot in here. But I'm going to eat my eggs that I made, just some simple eggs with extra pepper because it's good for your immune system. Mmm. They are really, really good. And my one old vlog... Someone commented, they were like, oh my gosh, how do you eat that much salt or pepper on your eggs? And I'm just thinking, huh? But I guess to some it's a lot. I'm like, is that a lot of pepper? I don't think it's that bad. Like, I don't know. Pepper's good for your immune system. I just like cover up my food and make it spicy. And I like pepper because it's not only the flavor that makes it spicy, it's the, you know what I mean? Like, it's not a spicy flavor. 
It's a spice. You know what I mean? I don't know. But it is pretty spicy. Woo! But yeah, so that was fast breakfast eating. I'd like to know like how like all this dirt and stuff gets inside. Okay, you guys, I got my Pepsi and I'm gonna check out what's going on with my grandfather over here on my Samsung real quick. Okay, so he's back on. His load. Okay. He probably doesn't really know anything, so I'm not going to worry about calling him because there's really no point in that. Um, but I am going to close this window because it is so noisy and it's just honestly kind of annoying. Um, and it's kind of hot in here. And I'm going to go get ready to start cleaning up in here. Actually, I'll leave the window open. I think I'll leave the window open for a little bit. That yeah, way we can get some nice little fresh air in here and clear out that humidity in the room. So, certainly 67. It's starting to warm up in here. It's 72% humidity. But now what I want to do is I want to kind of organize this filing cabinet drawer some. Um, I think I might push these coffee things the whole way back. And then I'll put something in front of here. Maybe I'll put this. That would actually work out really, really good. Shove one of those right in front of there. And then I got to get some more lens wipes from my mother to stack in here. She has them all down stairs. And there is the Q-tips. And there are those. Here are some of my old Starbucks gift cards. I was like a Starbucks gift card addict. I would buy gift cards just to put money on them and then use them at Starbucks. Um, so, let's, ooh, let's see. Um, I'll put this. Let's do this right here. Okay, that should keep all of those in place. And then I'll put those right here. And these old gift cards over there, or yeah, not gift cards, the birthday cards of mine that are kind of old. And put away the tape measure, and that can go somewhere else. And that looks pretty good in there now. That's all organized. Now, this drawer just has a ton of um, paperwork and files and stuff in it, and rings and bracelets, and I don't even know what else. Um, I'm not going to worry about that one. The bottom one I'm not going to worry about either. That one's kind of just the way it is. I do got to print off some more finance planners, though, for November. So I'll get that done sometime here. But now I would like to clean. The console looks okay. The console table. I'm just going to throw away this, this stuff here. Um, put away this hole puncher um, in my drawer. That's another thing that I want to work on is this drawer in my desk because it, it, look, it looks good. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, goodness. What's going on? I'm going to put you guys up on here with this thing. Let me move the keyboard in my drink. 
Okay. And then I'll put, I'll set you guys up that way. You can see what's going on here in this drawer. Okay. Let me bring you all closer. Okay. So here is my drawer. Um, this is pretty much the entire look of my drawer. I'm sorry this thing's in your way. Um, I can turn it sideways. That might help a little bit, but not too much. Ooh. Okay. Um, over here is red pens and stuff like that. Like those, and I have more pens, but I'm just going to give you guys like this kind of overlook. If I could just set you guys up on something else that was a little bit high, and that would work. I'll do Simmons dog food. You guys will be really up there now. Oh gosh. Is this even going to hold you guys is a true question. There we go. Okay. So now you guys are way up in the air. You can literally see everything in this drawer. I will zoom in just a little bit for you all. Um, but yeah, right here is this drawer. So I got that all cleaned up. It looks so much better in there. And I got the nightstand pretty much cleaned up. I just got to take that out to the fridge and some other cups and that stuff. My tumbler needs to go out. Um, this phone is currently still charging. Um, that is okay because I just, I got that stuff needs to go places. And then I have stuff over there that I got to take care of. And all of this stuff, there's just no question about it. It's just going to go right down here in this bottom drawer. 
I just hope I have enough room after for the finance planner. Yep, I do. And that's my care bag. Okay, so there we go. That is pretty much that whole situation. Now, as far as these Sharpies go, oh, my candle went back out again. I'm gonna probably throw that candle away because the wicks are broke. Whoopsie about the wicks, about the candle. I'm gonna have to turn on my air because it's really getting hot in here at 60. Eight in here, it just keeps rising. It's really hot for me because I like a cool room and I'm trying to work. So, okay, put on my air conditioner. Okay, um, so these I'm gonna put in my drawer, these brand new Sharpies. I think I'll put them with my pastel um, highlighters, they would complement them quite well, actually. Okay. Now, Simmons food. I'm gonna go back over there. I gotta take care of those clothes that are sitting there. Okay. But everything else looks to be in order. I need my cup. We're looking good. Oh, we're spawn. Okay. Oh, the pair of play up there from my last night little late night snack. Okay. My Apple Watch needs to go on the charger and it's been laying in something up there. Oh my gosh, that was that essential oil that spilled everywhere. My watch is now kind of sticky, so gotta clean that up and then plug it in. The charger for it is right here. Then I'll throw it up in there in the headboard. And these are my Tums. These can go back here. That'd be actually a really good spot for them. Right there. And they can't slide too much. So that's a good area for them, Tums. Okay, now, oil, new oil diffuser that I'm getting today. I can't decide what I wanna do if I wanna have the humidifier on my nightstand and the essential oil diffuser or just the essential oil diffuser or just the humidifier. I don't know what I wanna exactly do. I know I want this plant to go the opposite direction. Um, and I gotta clean this all up. Slide that back, because my new oil diffuser is coming today. You guys already knew about that. I want to clean off my Mac screen, so I'm going to put that window cleaner back over there. I got a pile of stuff to take care of right here. Sam, and you stole my pillow! <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Quickly make my bed. That shouldn't be too awful difficult to do. Just pull over my comforter and such. There we go. Bed's pretty much made. That's why I love it against the wall because no one sleeps on that side. So it's so easy to make the bed. Um, yeah, just gotta take that stuff out and then we're pretty much good to go. Simmons bones are gonna stay there. This plant is gonna stay there. I just gotta take care of them clothes. Some of them are, some of them are, um, yeah. They need to be organized. Some need to go back on my chair and some need to go over there in the drawer. I haven't decided yet um, what I'm exactly doing with them yet. So, okay. I made my this candle. I just ruined this candle. Look, it's just the wet. There's too much wax now for the wicks. I'll let that cool down and hard, and then I'm just gonna throw it out in the in the trash can. I don't, I'm not keeping the, the glass because I'm not redoing the wicks. And now I got wax all over my desk. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think I think we're good. I think we are definitely good. Um, I wish I had more of them cable things. I need to order 
some of those cable things. Like, you guys I'm talking about, they're on my desk, but I never use it on my desk. Maybe I should just pull it off my desk. I wonder if it'll pull off the coating. No, perfect. Okay. Let me stick it over here on my nightstand, because I can use it at the nightstand. I'm not sure where I exactly want to put it, though. Guys, I'm happy I have this Defender case on, because it protects my phone, but it's also making it ball. So it's like, jeez. Um, I think I'm going to put it right here on the side, kind of like back some. Let's do right here. I like that section. And then just make it look straight. Okay. Okay, that should stay. I pushed it pretty hard, and now I can just snap in all of my cords, like my MagSafe cord which is not even plugged in. I think it is unplugged in. I hate this trailer cord too. Set up with this extension cord. Touch it for me. And now I can shove all the cords back in there. And then like this one, I can bring out my USB-C cord. And there, now the phone is charging. And then I can bring this back in there good to go. Okay. My iPad needs cleaned. What's my iPad even at? It needs charged, I think. 78. I'll plug it in because I'm going to be using it later. But that's just the thing for the iPad. It doesn't really work with this little cable connector, but it also can. It can work. Put the mag safe right there. Lay that phone on it. Move my drink right there. And then we're good. Got a text. So I was like, what's that text about? Okay. So I think we're good with this whole room. I just had to take out a few more of those cups and then organize this stand. And that's it. It's this candle, it's all firm now, so I'm gonna put that away. And put the school laptop over here, up there on the top. And we're looking good. So, I want to order a new, I was really like wanting to get a new bag, but I don't know if I want to order another bag. I have so many bags. Look, look, look at this. Give me a second. Come on. Turn on closet. Thank you. Okay. I don't know where the home app is on that phone. Uh, I have my s and lime green. I got my special coach that I won, that my grandmother won. I got that other backpack that's broken. I have so many other bags. My vintage Golden Girl leather cream bag that I call it the Golden Girl bag. I got so many other bags in there. What's that one behind that other one? Let me actually get in here. That's what I hate about my closet with this trash can, but at least the trash can's here now, so it's like easier to get in here, but like I just have so much stuff, I don't, I don't have enough closet space. Um, this bag, what is this bag? What is this bag? Oh, okay, that green bag. I was like, what is that bag? What else do I got? My light pink, my COVID-19 bag. <laughs> my black leather bag that's like really big good for moving, packing, anything. Um, that is my favorite bag right there, but it's broke. It won't zip shut. And I have my new bag I bought not too long ago. And then down here I have my spring clearance yellow bag and my favorite beautiful summer bag, my red, hot, hot, hot red leather bag. And right now I'm using a total of two bags, but I don't know why this bag which is 
too small for what I need it for. All I have in here is chopsticks. So I'll take that out and I have some, well, I got some coins. I'll put that in my coin jar. Throw that bag in there. Okay. But yeah, I really do need more closet space. I don't have near enough. <sighs> Too much stuff in here. Um, but yeah, I got a few clothes up there, but not anything I really want to wear, so. But yeah, I like this, I like this, um, this thing right there. All them purses that are hanging up. And there's an extra trailer core, which I'm probably going to need later for my oil diffuser, so I'm just going to leave it out, because I'm probably going to need it for my new oil diffuser. Um, yeah, do I want to get any of these bags and start using them again? I don't know what I'm really feeling. I kind of like my bag I have now, but I also just want a new one. But look at how many I have. So I really need a new bag. This bag is so cute and soft and just like, it's at the perfect size. I got it at Kohl's. It's my most, I want to say my most expensive bag, but it's the most expensive bag that I bought. It was like $50. But the most expensive bag in there is my $500 coach bag. Actually, it's 560 or something like that. And I won that, and my grandmother won that for in a bingo game. But the MSRP is $595 or something like that, $550, $560, something around there. I never really ever use it. I don't really like it. But right now, my main bag I'm using is the tote bag, which is not the real one from Marc Jacobs. It's a fake one. It's a knockoff. I'm not buying a $300 bag just because it says the tote bag on it. I bought this one, and it's really hairy right now has so much lint and dust. And I've just been keeping it right down here, but maybe I'll buy a new one, maybe I won't. I haven't decided what I wanna do, so. Well, anyway, um, I gotta water my plant over there. I'm gonna give it this whole thing of water and some more, but, cause it needs to get some water. She's a little bit dry. That's the only live plant I have in here. The rest are all fake. Do I have any water in this big uh, Stanley dupe? No. Anything in here? Something, what's in here? That's soda. That's right, I just had that yesterday. Uh, I'll give up the rest about, uh, about three fourths of this jug. Cause this thing is a thirsty, thirsty, thirsty plant. This thing can drink and drink and drink. So I'll check on it here. That is probably enough. Let me lift it up though and find out. Lift it up, let's see. Yeah, it's leaking out. So that's definitely enough water. It will soak all that up. Now I gotta refill this for cinnamon. This coat I just took off this morning and I threw it on the floor in a rush, but it's my coat I wore this morning and so is this one. Another coat I wore this morning. So this can be kept and the rest of the stuff is all junk. Put this in there. Okay, we're good now. Fix my shoes. Okay. Well, you guys, I think that's about it for my cleaning. What time is it? It's currently 11.28 per that phone. Is that right? I think that's right. Other one says it too. I'll just double check, cause I don't know. Yeah, okay, 11.28. Um, so, this can go over here. <laughs> There's just so much stuff in here that I need. Like every single stand, every single area is just cluttered with stuff. I just, I can't get rid of anything. Like, I need all of it. <laughs> like, I mean, like, let's be honest. 
Like I'm like mainly an adult now living out of a bedroom. It's like I got my recliner, I got my gaming monitor, which would go in like an office or gaming room. I got a desk that would go in an office, a TV. The recliner would go in your living room. It's like, so I have all the bedroom stuff plus everything else that like I would have in a house. Like my coffee machine, it's in my room. You know what I mean? So like everything that I have in my room is like what I would have in my apartment. <laughs> so it's like, that's, that's the main problem here is that I have just too much stuff for a bedroom. I need like a larger bedroom. So, but that's okay. I have the medium sized bedroom and I'm okay with this room. I like this one. It's not the master, but it's about the same size as the master, just you maybe like one eighth less and you don't have a bathroom. But if I had a bathroom, that would seriously help because I could put a lot of my other stuff in, like a lot of my plants and everything and anything I could put in the bathroom. So, but honestly, a lot of this probably wouldn't go in the bathroom. It'd be mostly my dresser stuff. So, anyway. Well, that's about it, you guys. I did do my closet renovation a few months ago. That's another project for another day. There's going to be a day where I do want to get in there and like dust and clean. And I do want to make my closet usable again. Um, but just not today. Um, I should close these curtains. That would all honestly block off a lot of the dirt and all that stuff that's in there that I just don't know what to do with. I'm going to do that. That would seriously help. I just can't pull too hard because now there's a cord that's going there. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix this cord. Where does this cord go? Oh, it's a trailer cord. Okay, let me, I'm gonna be disconnecting everything here, but now I'll pull this cord back in behind here instead and plug back in all this stuff. That'll make this look way better okay now everything's back plugged in okay and then i can tuck that in there there i gotta leave that sensor out for my lights and now see but i just have so much stuff plugged in it's so hard to do anything back here because like i have my lamp plugged in I'll just lift the curtain up on top of it. No, that's kind of stupid. That's the thing. I need to unplug the light and plug it in with that cord. Where does the lamp even go? All the way up. There. Come on, come out. Just that. There we go. Okay. And now I can just plug in the lamp in this trailer cord that's going to be used later for the essential oil diffuser. Okay, and I should be able to pull this side over with no problem. This the only thing here is just Simmons treats, which they can go right there, and then all down that little pile of clothes. There we go. That makes it look so much better in here. Wow. I didn't even think it will even would make it look that much different. Look, <laughs> the room looks so nice with those. Oh my goodness. It looks like I actually have a wall right there. That looks so good. Okay. Why didn't I do that? Why didn't I do this sooner? Anyway, so be a cool little ambient light as well for like the night, like if you shut everything out and you just leave that little like um, other light on. But anyway, who's, uh, okay, yeah, this has some, all my grandfather's stuff still in it. I was gonna say, what, what stuff's in this? That's where I want it charged up because that one has my grandfather's stuff in it. <sighs> oh, tired. Anyway, um, it is now 11.30. I am going to sit here on the floor and take part in some meditation. I'm gonna do that and put on my beats. And I figured, why not allow you guys to come along with me to join in for my meditation? Um, so, I figured why not do it together. So let's go ahead and do it together. Actually, I just won't even use my beats now because we're gonna do it together. I'll bring my iPad over and we will sit down and we'll do some meditation with my iPad. 
and then I'm gonna come out and spend some time reading. But I figured I'll bring you guys along. Cinnamon sitting here. So let's just do some little meditation on the floor. Cinnamon's ready for you guys. Are you are you ready, Cinnamon? I'm going to turn off my air conditioner for a minute. Um, that way I can hear better. And I'm gonna turn off as many lights as I can. I am gonna leave the curtains open now. That's right, they're in this drawer. Turn off these lights. Um, and I'm gonna turn on my LED lights, make them red. That way this makes the whole room more better. And then I'm gonna turn off closet. And then let me Simon, you're blocking the camera, honey. Come on, move, please. <laughs> Simon, come on. Come here. Go. Move. Scoot. Scoot it. You need a bath. Your tail's getting, it needs brush too. Okay. Um, let me. Why am I not logged into me, Ross? There it goes. And then. That's right, it's not even set up in here. It's only on my iPhones. That headphone doesn't do anything. I'll go on my iPad. Bedroom, bed lamp. I gotta change the name of that in my home then, whenever I'm done with my, actually I'll just go do it right now. That way it's done. That way it's done. Okay. Off to change the position. Hey, buddy, come on, scoot, please. Thank you. Thank you. You can stay right there. Um, cause my recliner lamp needs to be changed. So accessory settings. I'm gonna make this desk lamp because I made that my desk lamp now. Okay. Now is that right? Yeah. Okay. Then my bed lamp. That's right. Closet. That's right. Okay, salt lamp. Okay. So I am taking part in Christian meditation. I've been doing this for a few days now. I never was a meditation person. Well, it was before, but then it's like, I just felt like it was wrong because I wasn't worshiping God. I was worshiping something else, like my meditation. So for everybody else, it's, you know, it's your own thing. But for me, it just felt wrong. But um, I have found this company called Alabaster Co. You get smart center state. On YouTube, they're called Alabaster Co. I hope this isn't copyright the video. But I am going to give us a meditation session with Alabaster Co. And we're going to take some part in meditation. Let's just pick a random one. I just like to just scroll and then just tap. So I was there. Let's keep on going. Okay. Wisdom from Jesus. That seems like a good one. Um, and if you want to take part in your meditation with me, you can take part in it with me. Um, and I'm going to do it here. It's six minutes and 45 seconds. So let's go ahead and let's do it. Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise, like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Though the rain comes in torrents and the floodwaters rise and the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it is built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish, like a person who builds a house on sand. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. Matthew 7, verses 24 to 27. Where do we turn in times of trouble? When our backs are against the wall and nothing has gone according to plan, when it feels as though the whole world is against us, where do we look for rescue? Difficult seasons and circumstances are a reality of life. While we experience moments of great joy, abundance, and blessing, there are also torrents and tumults to endure. 
we do our best to prepare for all that life may throw at us. Planning for rainy days and working to get our feet firmly planted under us. Several of Jesus' parables liken faith to structure and stability, comparing it to a plant's roots or a house's bedrock. To put our faith in Jesus is to build on a sound foundation. These parables encourage us to mindfully consider what we are building our lives upon. Where we invest and focus in tranquil times will influence how we respond in unstable times. Though the rain comes in torrents and the floodwaters rise and the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it is built on bedrock. Where are we laying the foundation of our lives? Take a moment to reflect on this question. Center your breathing and allow the spirit to illuminate your mindset. Get this time and breathe in, guys, by the way. Breathe in. building our lives on the rock of self, certain that our ways, our plans are infallible and indestructible? Do we depend on another person to hold us up, passing the burden of responsibility to someone just as unsure as we are? Perhaps we build our lives on nothing at all, taking each day as it comes, we live in a state of constant fluster, with little to ground us and guide us through. Jesus assures us that all these foundations are nothing but sand, ever shifting and precarious. When the winds and rain of life come, the ground will move under our feet and leave us shaken. If, however, we root ourselves in the wisdom and promises of God, we can stand firm even in the downpour. When we live our lives according to God's guidance and assured of God's faithfulness, we can find direction and comfort in the midst of crisis. Crucially, this parable is not a message of punishment but one of caution and encouragement. The floodwaters are not sent to punish the foolish builder. Rather, they are a result of the natural ebbs and flows of life and our world. Hardship and trial affect all of humanity. The storm reaches both houses, the one built on rock and the one built on sand. The difference is how the storm is weathered. The promises of scripture give us grounding in seasons of upheaval. When we center ourselves on God's promises, we are making God's unfailing and unchanging love the foundation of our lives. Through the teachings of Jesus, we are equipped for the challenges and difficulties that come our way. In the words of 2 Timothy, 3, 16 through 17. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. The wisdom of Jesus enables us to face the storms of life with confidence. The winds may blow and the waters rise, but we will not be washed away. The Spirit is at work in our lives, guiding and encouraging us. May we build our lives on the rock of our Creator.
Amen. You guys this kind of meditation is presented to you by Alabaster. I barely got anything Learn out of that meditation. I barely got anything out of that meditation because of this dog and all these notifications that have been coming through on both of my devices. Now I got him all treat happy and he wants like a thousand treats. Anyway, if you want to find my meditation, you can check them out over on YouTube. I have just found them. They actually make all the books that you guys, the aesthetic uh, Christian books up in the top of this. Excuse me. Can you, Salmon, please move. Thank you. Um, all of those. But they are on YouTube and they have many different videos for meditations. And I just discovered them and I think I did do one quite a while ago. But anyway, they have a whole entire worship session that was put up uh, four weeks ago. It was a 30 minute worship session for soothing anxiety. You can definitely check that one out. Um, and oh, another worship session. So anyway, I'm going to actually add that one to playlist i have a playlist it's called christian med if you want to check it out it's all christian meditation so anyway but i feel like that was a good meditation i definitely heard what he was saying it's all definitely true it rings my ears but um i just wasn't very much at peace because of mr cinnamon here that's trying to be nuts you're nuts you're nuts you're nuts no, no treats. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy that if you came along with me. It kind of felt long, but it wasn't that bad. But anyway, I apologize to Sim and kept getting in your view and all of that. But anyway, um, he needs a bath, which we're not doing that today. But we took time and we did our meditation and all of our Class Connect sessions are all done. I think we're done for the day with work. Usually by this time every day, I am all done. Um, some days I am doing stuff longer, but most of the time by about noon every day, I'm finished. So I'm gonna see though, just quickly checking, quickly checking my schedule. if um, I have any more work to do. Because sometimes teachers wait till like the afternoon and they add all the work in that they, that they want you to do. Like after the classes are all over. So now I'm one with my, all my classes. So we'll just see what. Yep. So she, yep. She's always the one. She always says it. Module three study questions. Oh, come on. I just did an assignment for you. It's an actual assignment. This is easy. What is cash? What is a bank balance? Describe at least two things to consider when choosing a bank. Interest and online banking. Describe two ways in which banks can make money. They can make money off of fees and they can make money off of overdraft, draft fees and monthly usage fees. Explain at least two risks banks face. Theft and bankruptcy. Identify and define at least 
three main types of transactions. I'm so sick of this question. Withdrawals, deposits, and transfers. What are debit cards? A card connected to your bank account to spend money instantly. What is reconciling your bank statement? Comparing your bank statement with your cash register. What is a minimum balance? A threshold that is placed to a threshold that is placed that you can't go under. in your account. What is an endorsement? An authorization that allows someone to cash or use your check. How else to explain it? How else do you explain an endorsement? Save as desktop. That wasn't too bad. I thought it was gonna be like a crazy assignment. I, I I just like it's nuts. I hate like study questions. Like teachers who make you put in your study questions. Like some people just don't want to use their study questions. Like I never use the study questions. I barely even take notes. I mean, and um, my grades are really good. Like, I don't really need them, you know what I mean? There, it's submitted, and all my work is done for today. I do have a meeting coming up that I could take. I'm not gonna take it though. Okay, so I think we're all done now for the day. Lock up the computer and move on. Um, we got everything done that I wanted to get done today, and more. Um, cause I wasn't planning on like cleaning as much as I did and all that. So I am just going to wait for my two packages that are coming and this vlog is starting to get awful long. So, um, as far as rest day goes, I'm going to take some time to read my Bible today. Um, and my other book, I'm going to do that shortly. I'll bring you guys along for a little time lapse while I'm reading that. Um, and we'll see what goes on with my grandfather, if he's going to be, coming home tonight or staying out and then leaving in the morning. I'll have to ask him and then see. That tree outside is so pretty. Look at this tree. Don't y'all want to view like that right outside your window? Look how beautiful that tree is. <laughs> it's so pretty. But anyway, that is my little plan. I'm going to read then. Um, but... I wish I had my oil diffuser already and my, yeah, but it's supposed to be arriving. Oh, I'm getting my conditioner as well today. I forgot I'm getting my conditioner. I'm trying a new conditioner because the one I've been using makes my hair like so like fluffy and I don't really like that because it's so long. So I'm trying out a new one. I'm trying out, well, it's not a new one. I've tried it before and it worked really, really good. Um, and it was the L'Oreal L-Vive. So I'm trying out that one, seeing how that works. But anyway, but yeah, you guys see how like, if we do this here, turn on closet, see how it could be like, just like a little bit of like cool lighting at night. So I might leave that on when I'm out like reading at night. It's nice to have that. So anywho, but yeah, so I'm gonna go take a little mental break, go outside, get some air, um, enjoy some, a little bit of sunlight. It's what, what's temperature at right now? It is currently at 69 degrees, you guys, 69. So I'm gonna go outside and get some air, take cinnamon out, and then I'm gonna come back up, sit down here in my bed, and I'm gonna take about 30 minutes. I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna run off of this phone here, 
which I'm gonna plug in real quick. Um, and I'm gonna put on like a little like timer or something on here. And then when we come back, we can look at that. And I turn off like that little timer. And then once it goes off, then I'll be done. But I really wanna spend some time reading my two books, my Bible and the Perfect Father book. So when I come back in, I'm gonna work on that. And my Apple Watch, I'm gonna wipe off and I think before I go out though, I'm gonna replace my Apple Watch band. And then plug it in for a little bit, charge it up. That way I can use it tonight. Because I don't think the Sleep Cycle app, like that app called Sleep Cycle that I that I showed you guys when I woke up this morning, I don't, it used to be pretty accurate, but I don't think it's that accurate. Like, it's only showing that I got, like, I don't know. Like, I felt like last night I got a really amazing sleep. I don't know. And then, like, I picked up the talking, which I know what that was. I was talking to my A-L-E-X-A -E to turn off my lights. So, I don't know. Anyway. I'm gonna go outside and get some fresh air and we'll come back in and we'll get reading. now currently 1 46 the afternoon kind of got away from me and i forgot about reading so i just took care of that um i wanted to take time and read so i did about 15 minutes or so and read um the time lapse made it seem awful fast but that was that um but yeah 1 46 you guys i'm going to get changed out of these pants and into and out of this shirt into like a short sleeve simple shirt or something because it is kind of warm out um it is definitely warm out it's 78 degrees outside 68 in the house or my room here so i do want to change my shirt and my pants make them a shorts and a short sleeve t-shirt so i think i'm going to do these old blue raggedy shorts because i'm going to be out under the truck later and I'm gonna be getting a haircut, so I don't wanna be wearing anything too nice. And that blue would match, but I don't know. Tomorrow, I think I'm gonna wear my full pink outfit, my full pink um, outfit that I have. Yeah, and then Saturday, I'll wear some more lounge full, but I'm gonna quickly change, so let me get changed and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm all changed. Um, that was kind of a bad transition. <laughs> Anyway, I am going to get my watch band collection and I wanna wear my Apple watch, but I wanna change my band. I don't really want this black band. Um, so, I'll look for something that more matches. Um, those are push pins, those are little watch accessories. Yeah, and extra watches. Uh, I got a dark navy blue. I ruined that watch band already. This one has paint on it, but I can still wear it. Um, pretty sure down here, all I have is all sports. Yeah, these are all just basic sport bands. So I don't really want any of those. I want something out of here. I think I'm gonna do the navy blue. It matches my whole outfit. What is this band? Okay, one of those, because they all wouldn't fit in the other one. Okay, we'll do the navy blue. I'll take off this one. Sorry, you guys are sitting on top of a window cleaner container. Okay. And I'll put that one away. Right like that. 
slip that on and we're good to go. I'll catch up with y'all later. Okay guys, I am back. Took my mother to Target to let her get Um, my grandfather came home. He had to go to make a return at Target. I got, or Walmart. I got some butter, ketchup. I am going to start my dinner um, right now. So I figured I'd bring you all along on what I'm going to do. So I'm going to make some Alfredo for dinner tonight. I ordered some under cabinet lighting for my kitchen. Yeah, I'm gonna wash out this pan and then we're gonna go ahead and get cooking this food. I need this, I need a sauce pan because I need the sauce pan to one warm up, but two mix up my mix that I'm going to use for the Alfredo sauce. We're gonna make two of these. We'll see what fits in here. Whatever fits, so I'm gonna make. So let's get cooking. I look crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, had dinner, got my hair cut. My grandfather cut it and he messed it up <laughs> by accident. Um, he has always cut my hair for the past like year now. But over here on this side, he was cutting and he came for it. And I was like, I'm thinking to myself, uh, that's really close to my head. And, and he was like, oh, oh, and he pulled it back and it was too late. So this is a little bit too short. It's very short but I put some gel in it and kind of like spiked this up and then like flattened this. That way it looks like it's all one length. So it may not look so bad, but normally this is like up here and this is like way down here. So anyway, um, I'm gonna have crazy hair for a few days till it grows out a little bit. But once it grows out, we should be good to go. Um, he keeps on asking me, is it okay? Are you sure? I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm thinking, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> There's nothing you can do. Um, but it looks good. It's okay. It's a little bit messed up, but it is what it is. Um, it's those stupid thinning scissors because like they take too much one minute and the next minute they don't take enough. So it's so hard to understand how they work. So, but he keeps on like asking like, oh my goodness, is it okay? I'm sorry. Like, I'm just like, no, it looks fine looks okay. I'm a little bit upset about it, you know, but what are you gonna do? This is what you get when you don't feel like going for a haircut and finding a barber because no one can cut your hair. And to be honest, if it wouldn't be like this, the rest of my head would be weird. Like the one time before that guy left it way down here. Um, my hair does not come down here. It needs to be all on the top. Like I showed him like five pictures and the guy still couldn't do it right. 
I've went to many different barbers. I found one barber or one hairstylist. I've even tried a hairstylist. The one barber that I went to, his name was Paul. He is too old, he no longer works. We asked, we'd come to his house and like sign a waiver and he's like, no. I would. He's like, but I could get in a lot of trouble. And we were like, well, if you sign a waiver, not really. He's like, I just don't want to try the waters. I'm like, okay. We're like, okay. But legally, if we would sign a waiver that says that he's no longer a hairdresser, but he still has his license and we are letting him cut our hair off the books, you know, for, you know, and whatever happens, what happens, you know, we're allowing him. It's really, it's legal. I mean, come on. So but he still wasn't okay with it. He was like, no, I don't want to test the waters. And we're just like, okay, but I've tried many different ones. I've tried gay hairdressers. I've tried regular hairdressers. I've tried regular barbers. I've tried gay barbers. I've tried so many. I think I went to like four or five, six different people for my hair over like that, like a, a one year period around like COVID, wore a mask and all that. And my hair just never turned out the way I wanted it. It would never look as good as my grandfather. So then he t he's like, you want me to try to cut it? I saw how Paul, our old barber, cut it. I think I can do it right. I was like, um, I guess, yeah, try it. I let everybody else try. I'll let you try. And the first time he did it, it wasn't it wasn't that good because by then I let my hair grow out again, like fully. And I was just like, I give up on planning a barber. I'm just going to let it grow fully out. Then I was like, no, I want to get it cut to go to my mother's wedding. So then we cut it in September. Uh, no, yeah, it was September of 2021, end of September. And he cut my hair. So actually, he has been cutting my hair for two whole years. Anyway, and it, it wasn't that good, but it was pretty close to what Paul had had it. But it was just kind of like choppity. Then we got some new products. And I think the best time that my hair looked the best was like July of 2022. It looked... No. Yeah, July of 2022. It looked the best then. He really got a hang of it. Then this time I let it go too long and now he kind of had some trouble, but it all looks good. Except this one little area that's just a little bit too short. So anyway, but I got it to look okay. So I kind of got it to lay right. So it's okay. I'm not mad at all. There's no point in being mad over hair. It'll grow back. Um, but it's upsetting that, you know, you got to walk around for however much time um, until it grows back. But it is the way it is. How's the back look? Back looks really, really good. So I'm happy with it. Um, you can see my face now. It's not in my face. It's not, I'm not always touching it every five minutes trying to get it on my face and flipping my head back and everything else, uh, putting it behind my ears. And it's not so bushy because like before, like it was just so bushy. I could feel it all the time. Now I can roll my head back. I can feel the air on my head. It feels fantastic. So um, I'll let it grow out because right now it is a little bit too short for me. But about, you know, I'd say I can go. My last haircut, I think. I don't even know when it was. I think it was like the middle of summer. I, I think I go like three months at a time. I forget the last time he cut my hair. I know that I got it cut right on the last day that I went to my Keystone exams and that was in May. But that might've been the last time I got my hair cut. I don't know, but see like it just started growing like crazy because I started using conditioner again. So I'm just gonna keep on using my new conditioner. I got my new conditioner. I got my oil diffuser. Did I even show you guys my oil diffuser? I don't think I did. I didn't. But here's my oil diffuser. I haven't took the other one away yet, but it will change color. It like goes back and forth, or you can click the little button. It runs on a timer. Um, you can click this button. It'll go from blue to red, bright red, <coughs> a dim orange, bright orange, dim pink, bright pink, dim green, bright green, dim blue, bright blue, dim purple, bright purple, multicolor, and it will change from all over different colors. If I turn off the light in here, it makes it 10 times better to see. So it is really, really cool. It's not like crazy, crazy bright either. Um, I thought it would be more bright though, but it's not. Oh, there we go, that's white. Okay, so white and then bright white. This is multicolor. So it should begin to change colors now. Yeah, there it goes, like a yellow color. 
and as it changes, it kind of looks like a real firework. So it's not as big as my one that I had, but then again, it's a lot thinner, and but it's kind of taller. Not really. Eh. It's definitely not as nice as my other one, but I think I paid like 30 bucks for this one. So I don't know. I'm not buying no expensive fancy ones anymore. I'm just going to start buying these. I did like the ink one, so I might buy the ink one later on and, and get that one, but... Anyway, my humidifier's off for now. I'm gonna put it back on tonight. I got all my schoolwork done. My grandfather got home. We had dinner. Took my mother to Target to do um, some little bit of shopping to get some fabric softener for our clothes. I'm having a Mountain Dew Voltage. We did his truck, all that stuff. He is gonna be leaving in the morning. Then tomorrow, I'm gonna either spend time filming or um, spend time editing this video, or I might wait over the weekend and do it, or I might wait till next week and do it. Cause this video is gonna go out either Tuesday or Wednesday. I put a poll up on Twitter, but I don't think anyone responded yet. Um, so yeah, but, and uh, yeah, then tomorrow I'm going to take an easy day. He is gonna leave and go back to work and go pick up his load since he got his account back. Um, so now he can do his regular dedicated run from here in PA all the way to Washington every single week. Well, not every week, but it's like every like week and a half, two weeks. So it's like it's, it's 10 days till he comes home again. So anyway, he will leave tomorrow, Friday, like he used to all the time. He leaves Friday mornings and then he will not come home that upcoming Tuesday, but he will be home the next Tuesday. He'll deliver and then come home on that Tuesday. Not this coming up Tuesday, but the following Tuesday. So. Anyway, and uh, tomorrow is a basic day for me. I'm just going to do some basic classes, basic work. Tomorrow night, I'm going to make something easy peasy for dinner. If anything, because I might just warm up what's already in the fridge. Um, and I'm just going to stay home tomorrow all day. I'm not leaving the house and I'll think I, maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. I do want to wash my car and wash the truck. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Um, cause he'll be leaving and I'm going to probably be bored tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. I might go away, but I'm not really too a hundred percent sure. And then I know that Saturday and Sunday, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. I'm staying home and then we're gonna get into next week, which is Monday. There should be no meetings, nothing big that needs to be done. And one week here, I think over Thanksgiving break, once we either before we go out for Thanksgiving or between Thanksgiving and Christmas, I'm going to get done. I've kind of like, that's a good time for me to do those credentials to, pa to get um, eligible to graduate, so. I'm gonna do those. I ordered stuff on Amazon again. I'm really, really bad. I shouldn't have ordered more stuff, but I did. I still wanna get a bag though, a new a new purse. So I might go on the hunt for a purse. I don't know what's in my account. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's in my account right now. Maybe I'll look for a little purse on my, my foot went to sleep and I can barely lift it up the floor now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see. Let's go shopping for a purse. Um, but I do want to just see what's in my account real quick and I'll bring you guys on, but there won't be too much more updates because I'm basically going to be resting for the rest of the night. And then I'm just going to crawl in bed probably around like nine o'clock or something. And I'm going to go to bed and that'll be it for today. So they took out, I think all of my stuff. They took out 826. They took out my gas. Uh, I don't know. If I can find a bag that's like $20, I'm willing to spend $20, but no more. Now, what did I buy that was separate? Okay, so I guess $31.77 total. They took that out. What was the $8.26 for? $44.83. Okay, that was a few days ago. My socks are... Okay, $8.26 for my conditioner. Okay. They take out the 826 though before. That's the problem. See, you lose track of what you order. 
No, okay. So I have that left, 167 in my checking out of a lot. And it's not even Friday yet. So I'm gonna maybe buy a bag and then I'm gonna be done. So handbag. That one's nice, but it just, it's too like, I don't know, like just like girly, if you wanna say girly, I don't know. I just don't really like it. It's too like, I don't know, a kitty cat on it, like come on. But I love the shape and the design. I really like that one. Not for $143. Oh my gosh. These are so expensive. Okay, where are the cheap bags? That's a cute one. Okay, let's put the price up to 20, up to not 25. Let's do the maximum amount will be 30. I'll just do 35 because I'm definitely not going over 35, but I'll go like 33 or something. Like here's one for 33. I like that. Here's one for 20. It was 40, but I don't really like the way they look. I'm going to scroll here for a little bit. I'll update you guys in a few minutes if I find something. If not, I'll tell you that I didn't find nothing either. So I'll be back in a minute with updates. I don't really see anything that I want that I like. Um, I did find something, but it's not really... Oh, actually, it is pretty nice. I don't know. I'm not really feeling any of this stuff, so... It's okay. More money to save for me. The rest can just sit into my account. Um... And I will probably replace my bag with something else. Another bag, because I don't really like that one. So I have my beige one in there. I have that little green one, or I have the lime green. I don't think I want the lime green. I want something that's more for fall. So maybe I'll start using that small little like um, army green bag again. Because that one was like really nice. Let me see. If I can get it out of there. There it is. It's a cute little bag. You guys get what I mean? I like it. And it has a big compartment here. I just wish it had like a front compartment where you could like put your wallet, but you don't really have to have that. And it's just a cute little bag and you can just go throw it in the car or whatever. So I might use that one and switch my bag. Um, or I might get my other one that's like a fabric. Or I might do something else. I don't know. Well, I'll decide by morning, sometime tomorrow, or tonight, I'll decide what I want to do. Um, I thought I had more purses than that, though. I think I gave my sister some, but I don't know. So, anyway, well, that's about it, you guys. Um, I will keep you all updated throughout the night, but as for now, it's currently 5.59, so 6 o'clock. I'm going to go have an easy going night, and I'll update you guys here in a little bit well you guys it is now going on what time is it 7 51 it's currently eight o'clock so i'm gonna head out to bed my grandfather will be leaving tomorrow morning about eight o'clock so i'm gonna get up in the morning and spend some time with him um and i guess we're gonna basically end up the vlog here but yeah tomorrow morning i'm gonna spend some time with him before he leaves um he brought home some big, uh, some little food stuff. So anyway, but yeah. Um, so, but yeah, he, uh, we're leaving tomorrow morning, eight o'clock, going back to work, going to pick up his load in PA and going out to Washington with it. Um, I'm going to have a basic day tomorrow, play a lot of American truck simulator. I think I probably won't be going nowhere, but we'll see if I go somewhere tomorrow morning or not. But I don't think I'm going anywhere. Um, I think uh, I'm just going to ease in the weekend. I have all that I need. Um, but I am. we are kind of getting low on um, juice for pink drinks. But I think that'll last us two days if we only make like one pink drink a day. Um, for me and my sister both, it'll definitely last us. Even if we make like three pink drinks each a day, I'm sure it will still last us. 
So I'm not going to worry about getting that till Monday, but we'll see if I actually get out there and wash my car tomorrow. I really do want to do that tomorrow afternoon, but as far as tomorrow morning goes, I'm going to take care of some classwork, just kind of lounge in my room, spend some time reading my Bible and my other book, The Perfect Father, and then I'm going to wash my car tomorrow afternoon, and then tomorrow night I'm just going to take it easy and warm up warm-ups from tonight or make something else easy for dinner tomorrow night, get a nice shower before I even eat, and lounge off for Friday night and play some Roblox and more American Truck Simulator and then go out to bed. So this has been a long day. A lot has been vlogged. I did a lot of work at home today and even running out and doing errands. So I hope you all enjoy your rest of your day. Thank you so much for staying to the end of today's vlog and enjoying it. I hope you did enjoy it. Um, and remember, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like down below if you feel inclined. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.